Okay, everything here is under $30. I can't promise that prices won't change, but as of today's date, I've done all the research. This isn't like the sale item. This is actual cost of the item. So if you find this stuff on sale, that's awesome. Uh, this is all stuff I use currently. It's been with me on every single trip, at least the past three or four trips, and I'm taking it with me this upcoming weekend. Um, and it's all ultralight gear, and it's all fantastic gear. And let's just get started. Item number one. It is this guy right here. So when you're hiking, and the bugs are absolutely relentless, and you are out of DEET, or you've used up all your DEET, and the DEET isn't even working, you're gonna bust out your <laughs> head net. This is the C to Summit head net. Sits inside of my ditty bag, so I always know where it's at. Basically, it's just a no -seam mesh that when the bugs are really bad, goes over your head, look at that. Now they can't bite you. It's only $11.29 right now on Amazon. So and you don't even need this one. You can go get a different head net because there's cheaper options out there. I just bought it. I don't even know when I bought it. I probably bought it because it's a C to Summit. Like that's going to be any better. I don't know. But I I've never been bit through it, so it works. Uh, and I'm going to take this off because it's probably extremely distracting. Item number two. This can actually save your life. It, no, it probably could save your life. <laughs> I, it's never saved my life, but if it was the right situation or the right circumstance, it, it probably could save my life or <laughs> at least prevent me from getting really sick. Potable aqua tabs. Can you see my mouth through there? Potable aqua tabs. Essentially what this is are just small little tablets that filter water when you don't have your water filter handy or it's clogged or you lost it or it broke or you can't make a fire to boil water or something. And you just toss a tablet into the water and 30 minutes later, wa-bam, you got purified water. I can't tell you how many times I've been on trail, especially when I was testing out the Sawyer Micro, which is the worst water filter ever, by the way, because it clogs up. And I've been talking about that forever, so you guys gotta stop buying that thing if you're buying it. But it clogs up, it's clogged up for me, been totally terrible. And thankfully I was with somebody else uh, who had a separate water filter, so I didn't have to use this because it takes a little bit longer and it's not gonna clean out like the debris or anything, but it's gonna make the water drinkable. It's gonna make the water not make you sick so you can trust the water when you're drinking it. Just buy this, put it in your ditty bag, that's what I do, and it's always there as a backup water purification situation in case I can't purify my water and uh, I need something to do that. It could save your life. All right, next up on the list, the Gossamer Gear 1 8 sleeping pad. So currently this is out of stock on their website, which if you're listening to Gossamer Gear, why do you got stuff on your website that's out of stock? It always says that it's out of stock. You gotta fix that, start making these. It's a foam pad. How difficult can it be to buy 800 feet of this and cut it into a rectangle? What I've been doing lately with this is I've been putting it underneath my sleeping pad and it keeps my sleeping pad, one, it keeps my sleeping pad from slipping around. There's nothing worse uh, in the middle of the night, especially if you're like me and you roll around a lot at night, your sleeping pad is always sliding around the bottom of the tent, that's a pain. So this holds it in place. And two, it adds extra warmth. So I use the uh, Thermarest Uberlite. Uh, it's a really lightweight sleeping pad, but it's got very limited insulation in it. Uh, this actually adds a little bit of R value uh, to keep me a little bit warmer at night. And another thing that this does is it protects your sleeping pad. So for instance, I was in the Utah desert uh, a couple weeks back and I laid out my Dyneema tent with a ground sheet, but I was using Polycro. Uh, that's sort of like a plastic ground sheet. But what I didn't realize that just under the surface of the sand was a uh, dead cactus or the remains of a dead cactus. And so there was some thorns there. And as soon as I got in my tent, a thorn popped up right through the polycro, right through the bottom of the tent. And this pad protected my sleeping pad, my air pad from getting popped. This is only $18 on their website. And it is about five feet, I think. And it's probably about 20 inches wide or so. This is also really useful as like a sit pad if you wanna use it as a sit pad. And I also keep this inside of my backpack along the back on the inside of my backpack. And that keeps some of the bigger items from you know pushing on my back and just a little bit more comfortable and kind of squares out my backpack a little bit more. So this is a super useful piece of gear. Highly recommend this, super cheap. I've been taking it on every trip. All right, next up on the list is an item that is actually free. You guys are gonna like this one. And it is the sponsor of today's video, 
Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. I often get asked what camera gear I've been using and how I shoot my videos and how I've gone from this to this. And I was able to do that by learning from my good friend Matty Apoya, who has classes on Skillshare. And I would highly recommend if you're into filmmaking or cameras or anything at all, you check him out. Plus there's so many other classes to learn from. If you're uncertain about what's next, creative challenges and productivity classes can be a great way to help you structure your time and set up achievable goals. Connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. Whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join a similarly creative community, Skillshare is the place to keep you learning. So I said that it's free and it is free for a limited time. Click the link in my description to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Okay, next up on the list, it is Darn Tough Socks. So one of the most neglected things in hiking, especially with new hikers, are their socks. So people just don't know what to wear, and that's totally fine. So I'm gonna kinda help you out a little bit. I highly recommend a pair of Merino wool socks. These ones grip my feet really well. They don't move around. Um, the only time I've ever gotten blisters while wearing these socks is if I didn't tie my shoes tight enough. So it was a shoe problem, not a sock problem. $17 seems expensive for a pair of socks, but when it's stopping you from getting blisters that are gonna stop your hike or ruin your hike, it's worth every single penny. So darn tough socks, awesome socks. Just, just pick up a pair of socks. Okay, next up on the list, the Tokes, $5.50 milliliter pot. You've probably seen this before, or if you haven't, you've been living under a rock. But it's only $29, $29.95 actually on Amazon right now as of the filming of this video. And there's, uh, I've got two of them here because this is the older version. Uh, this is one I've had for several years and I had to scratch the markings inside of it. I ended up picking up the new version of the Tokes Pot, which has the markings on the inside of it now. So you can see right inside there, the markings. The reason this is such an awesome pot, one is for the money, as far as I can tell, this is the lightest weight pot available. Also, it is the perfect size to boil enough water to be able to fill those freeze-dried Mountain House meals or pretty much any other brand on the market because a lot of them require two cups of water. And then it's also got this uh, lid that is pretty cool, fits really nicely on there. It's got holes to vent. It's got this little tab thing here that uh, sticks up. You slide it to one side so it stands up and it doesn't fall over. Uh, and that's why that's like that. So this way, if you slide it, it just falls over so that way you can keep it packed. And you want it to stand up while you're cooking because then you can easily just grab it and lift off the lid without having to touch the lid and burn your fingers and that kind of thing. So it's lacking a couple things. It doesn't have a spout. It doesn't have like the silicone handles or anything like that at all. But for what it can do, uh, it's the lightest weight, smallest option available that does exactly what I need it to do and I really don't need it to do much else. So. Highly recommend this pot, under 30 bucks. Pick yours up today. Okay, the last item on this list is right now my absolute favorite. I cannot believe I did not know this existed. It is the Thermarest compressible pillow. Okay, <laughs> before you super ultralight guys start harping on me, I'm just gonna tell you this, if you want amazing sleep. If you want to sleep with the feeling like you're sleeping at home, this is the pillow for you. This is exactly what this pillow feels like. It's very similar to uh, the pillows that you would have at your house. It's not quite like a down feeling because it's not down. There's actually, I think it's recycled uh, foam mattress inside of here. So there's just lots of little pieces of foam mattress in here. But it is not too firm, but it's firm enough that when you put your head on it, it doesn't you know, shrink to the bottom and it doesn't feel like a rock. It's got this really nice fabric on here that's really smooth. It's not sticky at all, it's a cloth. And then this will actually kind of into itself like this and then you just shove this in the bottom of your backpack. I bought a second one and I bring both. So that's how much I love this pillow because I'm a side sleeper. I sleep with one under my head and I sleep with one on my side just to kind of prop me up. The Thermarest compressible pillow. All right, I think that's it. I'm headed out on a trip in, uh, well, tomorrow. I'm actually leaving for a trip. If you guys like this video though, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe for more. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram, which I will put right here for you guys. And I will see you on the next one.